New measures, through safety measures that is, for city public schools in the form of surveillance cameras and automatic door locks. And although it's been a long road reaching the decision, many are still raising questions. Mix 11's Kirsten Cole joins us live outside DOE headquarters with more on this. Kirsten, good morning. Good morning to you, Hazel and Dan. Not a school district in the United States doesn't grapple with this very same question. How do we keep our children safe? Parents worry about it every day, as do educators. And now the New York City Department of Education is tackling this, and they have chosen to lock all of the doors and install surveillance cameras in order to control access. It's known as hardening the defenses of a school. This happening on Wednesday. A board made up uh, largely of mayoral appointees and the mayor has said that school safety is amongst his priorities along with the school's chancellor. This is the way it's going to work. So far they have allocated 43 million dollars for this. There are some estimates that this could cost upwards of 70 million dollars to roll out at each and every single school in the across the five boroughs. It would mean that doors would be locked outside of arrival and dismissal times. A camera would allow a school safety agent to be able to see who's at the door. And then they would choose the access to allow to buzz them in. The school's chancellor talking about how this was such a vitally important move for the board to make. The father of four children and the person who's responsible for this system, that while we're going back and forth around some issues, somebody walks into a school tomorrow, next week, next month. I'm telling you, it's the thing more than anything else. I know you all think about it as well, but I know I'm charged with that responsibility of doing everything that I can. I could not live with myself. So the controversy comes because there are some parents on this panel, although they, though they are in the minority, and they wanted to put the brakes on this a little bit to examine it further. But it was pushed through largely by those mayoral appointees. We don't have a timeline on exactly when the $30,000 of equipment will be installed on each and every school, but everybody working towards that same ultimate goal, how to keep our school children safe. We're reporting live this morning from the Board of Education. I'm Kirsten Cole, Pix 11 News. Dan and Hazel, to you. All right, Kirsten, thank you very much.